We're on our way to Trinoma to buy a beef donor from FS Turkish Cuisine. Madalas kami bumili sa kanila kasi talagang masarap at malaman. So tara, let's check it out. So andito na kami sa Trinoma. So makikita nyo ito yung mga stalls dito. May event sila ngayon. And then ito talaga yung pinunta namin dito. Tum natin. Yan. Ang Turkish Toner. Nakakagutom seeing the vertical rotisserie continuously spinning from afar. So we rushed to their stall and ordered our favorite beef donor. It's spicy for me, but not spicy for my wife. There are different varieties to choose from. They have lamb donor, chicken donor, and other Turkish delicacies. We mostly see them sa mga pop-up food stalls, madalas dito sa Trinoma, and at times sa Sidcore Market sa Eton Centuries before the pandemic. And I always make sure to have one to go. Well, madalas dalawa. <laughs> Ayan, ito na siya, ang FS Turkish Beef Donut. So for 100 pesos, you'll get a generous serving of their succulent roasted beef. And of course, it's not complete without the lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and the garlic yogurt sauce. Yummy! So, what's the difference between shawarma and donor? Ano ba? Ayon kay Food Sky. We could say the difference between shawarma and a donor lies in the origin. Donor is one of many varieties of Turkish kebab, while shawarma comes from the Arab Middle East region. And, take note, shawarma is derived from donor kebab. So, it's a bit hard to distinguish the difference since the preparation is the same, the ingredients are almost the same, and the flavor is almost the same. But the important thing is, they are both so yummy. Talagang masarap. Now you know what this? You know an idea. So anong difference ng shawarma sa donor? So hindi siya nakikinig. Talagang mapapaulit ka sa sarap. So right after eating, we head back to their stall, fall in line again, and ordered another beef donor. This time, we'll bring it home. Here's our simple and honest feedback about FS Beef Turkish Donor. First thing is value for money. The price is a bit high compared to the usual shawarma or donor here in the Philippines. But you get a generous serving of the ingredients and I tell you, hindi sila nagtitipid. Not bad for 100 pesos. Kasi mabubusog ka talaga without that much guilt. Second thing is the texture. You know it's freshly made when you order and see the vertical rotisserie continuously spinning while the outer layer of the meat is sliced into thin strips. Sobrang lambot ng beef, it's not chewy, it's very juicy. The lettuce and the onions still has the crisp when you bite into it. Last is the taste. It's not your typical shawarma or donor here in the Philippines. 
This one has a hint of parsley on every bite, which brightens the flavor. The meat is not over marinated and they just put a right amount of sauce so you can still taste the flavor of the freshly sliced meat from the rotisserie. It's exceptional. We highly recommend FS Turkish Donor. If we're going to rate them from 1 to 5 and 5 being the highest, we'd give them 4.5. Ganun kataas. So if you want to try it, you can contact them through their Facebook page. That's FS Turkish Cuisine Pastries Desserts Mediterranean. It's a mouthful but you can definitely find it in Facebook. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. Bye!